Some have called this anime the best anime of all time. Some people call Gintama fans the greatest fans of any anime. Some people only watch Gintama over and over and over again and have never watched a single other thing. Some people see Gintama as a religion. Some people see Gin as their father. It's been said that these OPs were handed down from anime himself. As you can see, everybody loves Gintama. It is probably the best anime that has ever been made. Mine and Vinny's favorite. Uh-huh. Your favorite? Of course, absolutely. So today we are blessing your earballs by ranking and watching all 21 Gintama OPs. We did a bleach tearing mm -hmm. not too long ago, and I just want to say music is like a personal like <laughs> preference. So for all of you yelling at us in the comments mm -hmm. for not liking the same OPs as you. Yeah. Hey, like what you're going to like, you know? But like, it's hurtful sometimes. Jumping into the first OP, we have Pray by Tommy Heavenly Six. This OP plays for the first half of season one mm. or year one. Obviously, in these episodes, we meet Gin, Kagura, and Shinpachi, and we get introduced to the world of Gintama, in which Edo Japan has been invaded and conquered by aliens called Amanto. We follow Sakata Gintoki, Kagura, Shimura, Shinpachi as they tackle odd jobs to make ends meet. In the first half of the season, we get basically introduced to all the characters. Mm -hmm. Na, the na, first na, OP. Na, na. Am I, is this just going to be me singing just and singing dancing along, to probably, all of these? Yeah. 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 Let's go out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to sing to all of it. Because it's like you're, you're introduced to all of these characters and just like this wild ride. Yeah. And I think this, this is like the perfect opening opening. When we started watching Gintama, we had no idea right. what it was about. But then you'd get like serious moments. Yeah, there's moments. some serious moments and you're like, what is, what is like, the serious what? moments? And like, why? Yeah. Why is it so serious? Because you can see that Gian obviously has some kind of dark past, but uh, you don't know what it is for a really long time. Right. Uh, it is just like so peaceful and uh -huh. it just makes me so happy. I know, me too. Oh my God, and how cool the Shinsengumi look. Yeah. They look so cool. <laughs> it is a piece of... La la la. Oh, and then oh. that. Ah, so Ta -da. good. Uh, that is easily just S tiered, right? Oh out my of god, the you're that. Okay, I'm gonna give that an A. Wow, okay. All right, that's fine. I think it's a strong start. It's a very strong start, yeah. OP number two, Tuoi Nioi by Yo King. This OP covers the second half of season one slash year one. During the second half of the season, we get notable arcs like when Gein loses his memory, becomes a factory worker creating just away bombs for terrorists. We also get the Umibozu arc where we meet famed alien hunter and Kagura's father, Umibozu, who arrives in Edo to bring Kagura home. And we get the first appearance of the Neo Armstrong Cyclone Jet Armstrong Cannon. That classic piece of machinery. Um. And I feel like with all of Gintama openings, it's not just the opening of the, the show because it can come literally anywhere in the episode. Right, yeah. I feel like the, the earlier OPs are really like happy. Yeah. And like they're riding on the scooter. Right, they're chilling, having a goofy day. Oh, so good. <laughs> like it feels very light. Right. Out having a having a ponder. Well, the first one was like more intense than this yeah. for sure. But like happy intense. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. So yeah. we get Takasugi mm -hmm. and Sakamoto. <laughs> Still some of the dark yeah. past. Classic. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little more of everybody's personality coming out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what does this mean? <laughs> it's like, I really like this song too because it, it almost feels like a little, a little sad, uh, but yeah. it's like very uplifting. I'm going to give this one a B. Yeah, me too. Yeah, it's like a little sad, a little like, um, mm, 
it doesn't jazz me up as much as ah, other I OPs see. have. Okay. Moving on to OP number three, Ginoro no Sora uh, by Red Balloon. Mm. This OP plays for the first half of season two or the second year. During the first half of the season, we get blessed with arcs like Infant Strife arc, where Gintoki finds the baby outside of the Eurosia. Uh, the Benny Zakura arc, where Katsura goes missing and Elizabeth hires the Eurosia to look for him. Additionally, Gin gets hired to recover a dangerous blade known as Benny Zakura. This arc also introduces Takasugi's terrorist group, the Kiheitai, and also gives hints of a shared history between Katsura, Gin Toki, and Takasugi. One of the first serious yeah. and like because most of these arcs are just a couple episodes, but this one is like really like right. starts bringing it to life. And more. like super intense. <laughs> <laughs> I just, it's I love the scooter, that shot. it's all the scooter yeah. shots with the blue, bright blue background. Yeah. What are these days where you can get a scooter like that? Sitting on a beach, strawberry, strawberry milk. milk. That beach always reminds me of like the lakefront in Chicago. Oh, yeah. you think they're in Chicago? Maybe they think they're in Chicago, yeah. yeah. Oh, it kind, yeah, it kind of does, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Still just getting up into the shenanigans. <laughs> Like the, the Shinsengumi look very epic in a lot yes. of these when they're just so like yeah. goofy. Oh, how's it going? Nice. The, the waves <laughs> crashing. <laughs> so good. It's like giving me main character vibes, yeah. but like I so really like the song. I really like the visuals. He's just, just such, such the a, best main character. Yeah. So. Like, I want to give this one A tier. It is solid I, for me. Yeah, I'll give it A tier. But, like, a dream of mine would be being in Kagura's position right now, just le like Leaning falling against asleep, Sadaharu. eating some seaweed. Mm -hmm. Like, that's a dream. Some pickled seaweed. Yeah. With Gintama reading, I mean, Gintoki reading Bleach. <laughs> <laughs> With Gintama reading. Yeah. Hi, I'm Gintama from the anime Gintama. Oh, yeah. Moving on to OP number four, Kasunaru Kage by Hearts Grow. We get this OP for the second half of season two or year two. We get the Yagia arc where we get introduced to QB Yagia, mm. an old friend of Otai, and the Yorosia, Kondo, Hijikata, and Sogo fight the Yagia clan to free Otai. We also get one of my favorite scenes from Gintama where Gintoki, Kondo, Tojo, and Bimbo Kusai uh, fight for their lives while sitting on the toilet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm Bigfoot. <laughs> we get introduced to Shogun Sama, the 14th ruling Shogun of Edo in the Gintama universe. We also get the Okida Mitsuba arc where we meet Sogo's older sister and learn more about the background of the Shinsengumi. First time I cried during Gintama. Mm, mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because of the bathroom scene and the Bigfoot scene, yeah. <laughs> So good. And back on the scooter. <laughs> Do all of these open with them on the scooter? I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> we need it. We're planning on getting it. <laughs> Absolutely. We're planning on getting a big dog to ride on across LA. And it's just like this big goofy smile. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. No. I just. Yeah. Look at this. Everybody's Everyone's just yeah, it's going from like them being super happy to like right. more introspective. Right. Everybody's going through something. Off. But we're still happy together. Yeah. I love the little smile Gene does there. Yeah. <laughs> just every time busting into some BDSM thing. Oh. Yay, I like you. Of course. <laughs> uh, and like honestly, the Yagia arc is so good because they team up with the Shinsengumi right. for the first time, which is always like that. The relationship between the Yorosia and the Shinsengumi throughout Gintama mm -hmm. is like one of the. It's just mm -hmm. how they grow closer together. So good. So good. Like, I like the mix between like they're they're happy, they're sad apart, but they're happy together. Aww, you know, okay. it's like, I want to give this like between an A and a B. I was gonna give it a B. All right, so a little bit more towards B. 
We have OP number five, Dantan by Does. We get this OP for the first half of season three or year three. During the first half of season three, we get arcs like the Shinsengumi crisis arc, where Hijikata receives a cursed sword that causes him to act like an otaku, putting his position in danger. At the same time, the Shinsengumi advisor, Ito Kamataro, returns to the Shinsengumi to push it forward, but in reality, he's in cahoots with Takasugi and aimed to become the head of the Shinsengumi. Thus, Hijikata needs to overcome his otaku ways to save the Shinsengumi from falling apart. Um, we also get Hijikata as Prince Mayo, one of my favorite <laughs> episodes. Oh, it's a little cloudier. Yeah, a little cloudier. Still, still riding on the scooter, though. And they're so mad. They're just mean mugging. <laughs> I feel like I don't remember this one as much as the others. Yeah, I don't think I, I do either. Oh, yes. but it's so epic. Oh, no, oh, I Oh, yeah, do. there we no, go. I yeah. love <laughs> this one. Oh, it's so good. Oh, yes. it's so good. And you can tell, like, the animation's getting better. Oh, they're so, like, it's serious. So the legs on Elizabeth. <laughs> Ugh. Everybody, because it's so because the the conflict within the Shinsen Gumi is like basically related to Takasugi and right. what he's doing behind the scenes. So like, oh, God, it's so good. Oh, and yes, then, yeah, and then, like, we more... finally get the fighting scenes from yeah. there. Yeah, because you didn't so get this good. in any other of it. You saw him fighting like alone. But then oh. it's always them snapping out of it and like, and oh realizing, yeah, that's right. Like, I'm here yeah. with my friends. Things are good. I have people I can protect. Right. Yeah. Oh. God, this is so good. The first few seconds I was like, I don't remember this, but oh yeah. Oh, so it's good. good. Okay. And again, I want to put this one between like A and B, I, like a little oh. closer to A for me. I was gonna give it S tier. Really? <gasps> yeah. All right, that was solid A then. OP number six, Anata Magic by Mono Bright. This OP plays for the second half of season three slash year three, where we get the Yoshiwara in Flames arc, uh, where we meet Suki for the first time, a highly skilled ninja and leader of the Hayaka Yoshiwara's guardians at all female law enforcement squad. <laughs> <laughs> we also meet Kamui, Kagura's brother, mm -hmm. for the first time. During this arc, the Yorozia alongside Suki fight against members of the Yato clan that rule over Yoshiwara and have ties to the Harusame space pirates. We also see the ferocity of the Yato's blood for the first time classic Kagura oh, yeah. mm -hmm. loses control. Her brother's scary, man. Oh my Oof. god. Sky's getting a little brighter. Yeah. <laughs> Not on a scooter right now. Mm -hmm. I'm yet. He's just standing, yeah. Oh, oh. I love it. it. Anytime they're together, they're they're smiling. Anytime I'm watching Gintama, I'm smiling. <laughs> He's he knows. <laughs> hey, shut up. Oh my god, this is great. <laughs> I love the because it, it's kind of like reminds me of the Bleach openings with the warped camera oh, angle yeah, or yeah, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Kagura. Just eating a giant rice ball. Get out of here! <laughs> oh my god. Always epic. Elizabeth and Zoda. Oh. God, it's just like, your past is still there. Still remembering things. Oh my god, the Like, the, the Shinsengumi looking epic is starting to fall apart a little right. bit more because... <laughs> Oh, see, the, the talk is... Like, oh, how, how just... Calmly. So Scary good. he looked. Oh. It, I just love how... Just like, yeah, it's a dark past, but like, things are good when we're together. Um, so good. This one's really good. I, I just like how, like, epic the song picks yeah, up throughout yeah. it, and then it gets, like, with all the images and like, visuals they're showing It gives you a really good balance of everything. Yeah. I mean, like, we're, we're oh, gonna God. run out of room. I it's know. <laughs> I'm gonna give it in between A and B. I wanted to give it a B. We'll give it a B. B. Even though Solid I really B. liked it. Do you see how excited yeah. I got? Also, this is just elevated because everything is so good with Gintama. Moving on to OP number seven, Stairway Generation by Baseball Bear. This OP plays for the first half of season four mm. slash year four. We get more Shogun Sama right at the start of the season when he goes to the barbershop. Honestly, one of the most <laughs> horrifying Shogun episodes as well. It gave me real sweats. Mm. 
Otaku Toshi shows up again for the O2 official fan club battle, and Gein and Hijikata go to the dentist. Just like very like classic oh Gintama, lighthearted yep. uh, first half <laughs> of the season. I was like, I don't think I remember yeah, this, but it's no, like we... <laughs> every single time. Yeah. <laughs> Just running away because you don't want to pay rent. <laughs> oh! <laughs> it's oh just him running yes. all the time. I love how Katsura shows up every time and he's spinning. Yeah. And... Oh. So good. Always ends with a smile. Yeah. <laughs> Both of them fighting. <laughs> oh, it's so good. <laughs> oh, we got that hair piece. <laughs> Sarah, oh. oh god, come! He's so menacing. <laughs> Elizabeth blasting off. The freaking mayo bottle. Yeah. Oh, yes. Otaku Toshi. Such an awesome, such an awesome costume. Is that what you? You could do that. Uh, yeah. For yeah. your cosplay. This one's definitely like it fits the the vibe of right. what it plays because like nothing really serious happens right, in the beginning right. of season four yeah. so like this definitely is just like a we're having a good we're time having a good time like I want to give this one like just compared to the other yeah. ones dropping it down to like C. C tier I'll give it a C yeah next we have OP number eight Light Infection by Prague this OP plays for the second half of season four slash year four we get the Red Spider arc where Suki's former master attacks Yoshiwara. So Suki gets the Yorozia involved to help. We also get a little bit more info on Gein's background mm -hmm. through a flashback. We also get the character pull arc, one of my favorites, where the, <laughs> the long character running, yeah. pull creates tension and fighting between the characters. Hijikata wins a golden ticket to visit the mayonnaise factory in Mayorin. <laughs> we get an action-packed Sogo arc involving a girl named Kiri, who tries to kill Okita in revenge for her father's death. We also get the Divine Air arc featuring Ketsuna Ana, uh, where Shinpachi meets the love of his life. Yes, <laughs> so romantic. Man, that Mayo episode had me so sad, though. Like, oh, I, I know. It felt was just that. tragic. Was, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh young me. Yeah, I know yeah. because we get the we get more info on mm -hmm. the refla flashbacks on this this season. Yes, the sensei, so good. Oh, this is really good. Oh. oh, and the flashback with Kagura and the umbrella. And... I love seeing the characters young. Yeah. What about is Shinpachi young too? Oh, Shinpachi. <laughs> oh, Shinpachi's in this too, I guess. Oh, yeah. I didn't realize. <laughs> so good. So serious. Yeah. <laughs> and, then he's, and he's always just stern. Even how like how it looks like yeah. intense. Oh, oh god, scary. how he's so scary! Like all the way through to the end. Yeah. <laughs> oh, god, and the evolution. His, yeah. Oh, it's that so good. That costume is so cool. Aww. But hey, things are good now. Like so good. Um, like dang, I want to put that back down to C tier as well, oh, just because like oh. it was it's still not doing it for me for everything okay. that Gintama is to the, me. The energy was a little bit lower on this right. one. Right. I'll give it a B. So in between okay. B and C. In between B and C. For OP number nine, we have Togenkyo Alien by Serial TV Drama. Okay. I think I really like this one though. For some reason, <laughs> uh, it stands out. Do you know how the the Gintama is it just Gintama Ash? Not uh, is it Ash? Apostrophe? apostrophe? Is it Gintama? Yeah. Do you, does anyone know how to actually say the name of the? Because there's so many different ones where there's the circle, well, there's, there's the yeah. yeah. Okay, Gintama apostrophe. Okay. Uh, this is the first OP mm -hmm. after a year hiatus of Gintama. We get the Kabuki show for Deva's arc, where the Yorozia get involved in an all-out war in Kabuki District between the four Devas, who are pillars and de facto overlords of Kabuki District. Otose is one of them. Mm -hmm. And we get the Shogun-sama pool episode. Yes! <laughs> and Katsura, Katsura is a, a menace yes. in this. Yes. He always ends up naked some way or another. Oh! Yes! Yes, with the smiles! 
saw it up. I saw it up. I, I knew I freaking liked yeah. this one. This is the best one. <laughs> oh, this is so good. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> one of my favorite OPs from Yuhama. ever, ever. Yeah. This is one of my favorites ever. Sugar, uh, blood sugar level. <laughs> oh my, God. I, it's so epic. I can't. Yes, and oh. like it looks so good. It looks because it's now the new format right. after oh, the yeah. hiatus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and everyone's uh, right. Yeah. Yes. It's so good. It's so epic. And here it comes. Get ready for it. <laughs> Yes. Oh god, it's so good. I've got chills. Let's go. Oh my god, it's lit. It's so good. It's my oh favorite. My god. All of them. Oh. What a way to come back yeah, after seriously. a hiatus. Oh god, he's god, so, so evil. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Oh. And like the, oh. Yeah. 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 Oh my God. S tier. S tier. S tier. S -tier. Oh my, it's just like, and all of them running. Yeah. And it's so, it's so action packed. Oh, it's so good. There's a bunch of stuff going on. Oh man, absolutely. The song is good. The visuals are good. My shirt. Oh, do I have yeah. <laughs> From this OP. I didn't realize I had both of them. <laughs> I guess I really do like Gintama. Um, because we got so excited about OP number nine, we completely skipped OP 10 uh, in our first filming of this. So we're back or we're here. We're here, we're still here, same video. Yeah, uh, for OP number 10, mm -hmm. Dilemma by Ecosystem. This OP is the second OP for Gintama apostrophe. We get Gin saving Shinpachi from being obsessed with his virtual girlfriend. We get the Renho arc where we learn of the origins of Elizabeth and the Yorozia alongside Sakamoto and Katsura infiltrate the Renho base to stop them from taking over Earth. Shogun Sama goes snowboarding and after getting drunk at a year end party, Gintoki manages to become a six timer in one night. It's like I always say like, oh, I don't recognize it within the first like 10 yeah. seconds, but then Ooh, it's so dark in so the city Yeah, I like it. Yeah, okay, okay. I really like the, the costumes on this. Uh, winter gear. Yeah. Yeah. No, I love the city shots because mm -hmm. the colors look really good. Oh, because the, he has the one-eyed sandals. Oh, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, wait. And then is Hasegawa going to pop up? <laughs> yeah, maybe. No! <laughs> it is very serious for being like right. a funny. That elevator scene, though, like you don't know unless you know. Oh, this is cool. Yeah. Oh, this, Always gotta put in the, 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 the past. The past shots. Got so broody. I love the con yeah the contrast between the other one's day and right, night. Right, right. Yeah. And it always comes back to you're okay if you've got your friends. Um, let's see. I'm gonna give this a B. I'm gonna give it a B, a solid B. Not my favorite, but yeah, it's it's a good song, but not as memorable. And I feel like even though the visuals are really pretty and yeah. like dark and cool yeah, and stuff, yeah. they don't stand out and don't they don't. Touch, you know, your touch your soul. Touch your soul. Your don't silver touch your soul. Silver soul. Yeah. Next, we have OP number 11, Wonderland by Flip. This is the third OP of Gintama Apostrophe. We get the Thorny Arc, which introduces us to the Mima Wari Gumi, a special police force under the control of the Shogunat, who rivals the Shinsen mm. Gumi and is led by Sasuke Isaburo. This arc covers a big conflict between the Shinsen Gumi and the Mima Wari Gumi, while later it's revealed that Isaburo has ties to Takasugi. I love a good Shinsen Gumi mm. arc. Mm -hmm. Yes! Oh god, it looks so beautiful! It looks really good. And the Apostrophe. <laughs> <laughs> wake up, drink some strawberry milk, oh read some jump. God. There you go. But I, honestly, I can't believe how beautiful this looks. See, now that's the dream. Just wake up, oh. clean the floors, <laughs> drink some strawberry milk. Oh, it just looks so peaceful. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Badal. 
Oh god, it's so good. What's with them and the shark? I, don't know. I actually have no idea. Like this sounds like a uh, 2006 like pop song. Oh, I do love this yeah. song. Oh my god, look yeah, at that. This flip is really good. <laughs> Gorilla looking strong as hell. Look at these boys. I yeah, they look up. so good. Yeah. Oh, these three. No, you're right. It does sound like an early 2000s, yeah, like, like Michelle Avril Branch. Yeah, Avril, yep. yeah, uh -huh. yeah. I mean, I love it. This, guy, this is checking off all the things for me, like that nostalgia, <laughs> that mm. the, the visuals on this. Like, I want to throw this in A tier. I was going to give it B. A between A and B. Sure. Let's do it. Moving on to OP number 12, Let's Go Out by Amo Yamo. This is the first OP of Gintama apostrophe and Chosen. We get the Kintama arc. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kintama's identity has been stolen by Kintoki, mm -hmm. an android made by Gengai. As an assistant for Shinpachi and Kagura, since Gin's always ditching them, Kintoki essentially becomes the perfect replacement of Gin. Everyone comes to adore the new Yorozia boss while seeming to forget mm -hmm. about Kintoki, but it's all due to Kintama's manipulation. Yes, because <laughs> it's because he's replaced them. I, it's gold. And it's amazing. It's Keen so Tama. good. <laughs> <laughs> I know this isn't the the, the true yeah. one, but so good. I just love how they've completely replaced Keen. <laughs> <laughs> everybody, everybody loves loves, loves him. Oh my god! And they even replaced the kid yeah. too. Oh my god! That's so good. It's so funny. <laughs> that's so funny. The three of them swapping out their history. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, Kondo is just naked now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just the jacket. Just the jacket. That'll be my next cosplay. Watch out. I can't. Oh, it's so good. It's so funny. Hey, hey. guys. They're like, they're like, yeah. They're like, are we? Oh, I think it's so. Fine. Yeah, no, we're friends. <laughs> Oh, it's so good. Uh, I want to throw this one up at A. I need to throw it up at A. It's so good. It's such a good no, song. I'm gonna, the visuals are so good. I'm going to give it in B because Gein's not in it. Fine. Fair. <laughs> That's fair. Next, we have OP number 13, Sakura Mitsusuki by Spy Air. This is the second OP for Gintama, Apostrophe, and Chosen. We get the courtesan of the nation arc, where Yorozia and Suki helps Yoshiwara's most beautiful courtesan find a long lost love, so they infiltrate the Shogun's palace and a conflict erupts. We meet Oboro, who leads the Naraku that protects the former shogun mm -hmm. and works behind the scenes for the Bakufu government. Turns out him and Gein fought against each other in the Joy War. And we learn more about Gein's past and Yoshida Shoyo, Gein Sensei. And we really start getting into the heavier stuff. Yeah, yeah. And we meet the first actual, truly the character of Gintama, the former shogun. Yeah, yeah. true. It's so dark. Yeah. It's it's in the petals. Oh my god. Yeah, this is beautiful. Oh god. It just hit me oh, in the feels. Oh god. Just sitting in the dark, staring mm -hmm. off. I can't. This it completely has a different feel. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah. yeah. Oh my. It's like so like pensive. Mm -hmm. Because it the arc is so yeah. serious. Yeah. But the sun will come out again. <laughs> Things are looking because up. Because the I mean the whole thing is the. Oh. Yes. <laughs> But the whole thing is they'll re reunite right. under the moon yeah. and it, oh my gosh, Ugh, it Shoyo. Was such a good such a good art. I love this song. Like, what are you too. doing here? Are you two? <laughs> yeah, we could do like, anything. We're together. here with you. Oh, yeah, God, you don't have to burden this alone. Oh, so good. It's beautiful. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Uh, the flashback. I right. Can't. Oh, this is beautiful. Mm -hmm. but things are okay together. Oh God, my God. It's so good. Because I, this is the first one that like also gets Shogun involved. Right. Shogun Sama involved in all of like the eventual bigger stories. Right. So like. Yeah. Oh. More depth to I'm it. I'm giving this A. I want to give it between S and A. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We'll give it between S and A. Okay. I'm okay with that. Next, we have OP number 14, Day by Day by Blue and Count. This OP is the first OP for Gintama. 
circle. D degree <laughs> circle. Yeah. Uh, for this OP, we just get a bunch of classic Gintama episodes, uh, including the gender swap arc, but it's really just taking things easy before it leads up to like yeah. the bigger, yeah. heavier stuff. Day by day by day by day, so this feels like early 2000s. Right, it's day like Blink-182, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, it's just on the highway, on the scooter, on side like auto. It's kind of back to like classic Gintama right. with the scooter, the blue skies right. and whatnot. And things kind of goofy. And... Yeah, so it fits the like lighthearted, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh. <laughs> All of them, yes. <laughs> oh no! Oh my god! Always oh, hit with the scooter. Yeah, not his butthole. Yeah. It's very bright. It's very like um, poppy with the colors. Yeah, very of the sharp. Contrast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, everyone's just having a good time. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Aww. Like, you get a little bit of the yeah. past. Oh, you know the words? <laughs> yeah. This one is just so, like... It's, like, chill. It's fun. Yeah. And it's just, like, different. Right. It, like I said, it kind of gets back to the, like, first couple mm -hmm, seasons of mm -hmm. Gintama where it was all pretty much goofy. Right. For me, we're inclu I'm including the visuals and everything as well. Like, I want to drop this down in like between B and C. I was gonna give it a C. C. Let's drop it down to C. Yeah. Full C. Just because, like, again, I I do think it matters to me what's going on right. during these OPs playing. Right. Moving on to OP number 15, Pride Kakume by Chico with Honeyworks. This is the second OP for Gintama degrees symbol. We get the Shinigami arc where we meet Asaimon Ikeda, an executioner for the Ikeda clan who is accused of murders throughout the city. The Yorozia help her, but they get entangled in a conflict with the Hitosubashi faction who lost their political standing after losing a battle against the Joy rebels during the war. Thus in retaliation, they purge rebels, including with Gain being mm -hmm. on their list. We meet Nobunobu Hitosubashi, leader of the Hitosubashi faction, who was working behind the scenes within and without the government to wait for a chance to steal the Shogun title away from Shige Shige. Hmm. We also get episodes where Shogun and Katsura form a close bond. That's gonna come back later Ooh. and pay off. We also get the soul switch arc where everybody switches souls. So oh yeah. It's good fun. Mm -hmm. Scooter all day, every day. We're in a forest this yeah. time. In a giant forest with the trees. So good. Just all of this is just like, it just makes you feel so good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we also get the festival mm -hmm, mm -hmm. episodes as well. Love a good festival. Yeah. Oh, so cool. I love that. The visuals. Right. Jeez. <laughs> oh, Show oh, Chad! His face and him getting pulled back yeah. from the barbershop was horrifying. <laughs> oh, oh was yeah. So serious. I know Tose found him right. in the graveyard. Yeah. Made a promise. <laughs> yeah. I'll watch over you. Not my favorite. Uh, I don't think the song is my favorite. It has really good visuals. I don't right. think the song is necessarily my favorite. I want to drop this between like B and C. I'll give it a C. Okay. So between B and C, okay, a little more towards fine. B. Moving on to OP number 16, Beautiful Days by Okamoto's. This one, I know I love. Yeah. This is the third OP of Gintama, little circle. Uh, we get the Afro arc where Katsura tries to infiltrate the Shinzen Gumi and ends up under the command of the silent and dangerous Saito Shimaru. Uh, Shimaru requests the Yorozia to help him overcome his shyness to befriend disguised Katsura, but unfortunately everything goes downhill as Katsura manipulates the Shinzen Gumi into arresting Shimaru. We get Kagura feigning illness so that she can get everybody's love and care, but then she actually almost dies thanks to Sogo, who right. knows she's faking it. I love. <laughs> it was such a good episode. The Kagura-Sogo mm -hmm. dynamic, so good. We also get the first four parts of the Shogun assassination oh, arc. Yeah. One of the best. 
It is the first of a series of arcs that marks a turning point in the nature of Gintama, making it more serious mm -hmm. and plot oriented with a permanent change in the character roster. Shogun Sama finds himself a target for assassination by Nobunobu and his allies. To protect him, Matsudaira forms a plan to secretly smuggle him out of Edo with the help of the Oniwa Banshu, Shinsengumi, and the Yurozia. Mm -hmm. All of our favorites teaming up for yes. the first time. Yes. Look how cool it's it looks so already. Cool. Beautiful one day. Oh my god, I the love it. The art style is so style. good. Oh, it's and so good. You know me. I like it when people are dressed up in not their normal costumes. So even Shimpachi looking so cool. Mm -hmm. I love this. I really like this art style. It's like... And it's one of my favorite songs. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's such and a it's good song. And it's so different than all of the other right. OPs. Like, what does it feel like? It feels like a, like a Wes Anderson. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, I get that. Jump, 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 jump. Beautiful, beautiful Monday. Beautiful, beautiful Tuesday. Oh, I love it. I love this song so much. The visuals are just, I can't get over yeah. it. Oh. Beauty, beauty, beautiful Saturday. Beautiful Sunday. Beauty, beauty, beautiful one day. It's like the song itself goes out so long through that outro. Uh, that's a solid S. Amazing. A uh, solid hard S. Yeah, S, S for yeah. me too, yeah. Moving on to OP number 17, No, 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 by Does. Uh, this is the fourth OP of Gintama, degree sign. It's the last five parts of the Shogun assassination arc. Uh, lots of fighting and action. Kagura gets a chance to fight Kamui, and we also get the long-awaited battle between Gintoki and Takasugi. We get a ton of flashbacks, learn more about Gin and Takasugi's past. However, they're interrupted by Oboro, and they in turn battle Oboro. As the bloodbath comes to an end, Nobunobu becomes the new Shogun, and Shige Shige and his sister Soyo seek refuge outside of Edo. While seeking refuge, Shige Shige gets poisoned and dies. This is like, no one dies right. in Gintama, dies, really? Yeah. But then Shogun Sawa dies, mm -hmm. and it's just heartbreaking. Like, why would they kill him? It's right. crazy. <laughs> then we get the farewell Shinsen Gumi mm -hmm. arc. Ugh, another good one. Days after Shige Shige's funeral, Nobunobu continues consolidating his powers. He starts by arresting Matsu Daira and Kondo for failing to protect the former Shogun and sentencing them to death. He then disbands the Shinsen Gumi. With nothing left to lose, Hijikata, Okita, and the rest of the Shinsen Gumi team up with Katsura mm -hmm. and his Joy faction plus the Yorozia to save Kondo. Isaburo and his Mimawari Gumi are joined by Oboro and his Naruku forces to fight and stop the group of rebels. However, the Tendoshu, Oboro's bosses basically show up, plan to purge everybody. So Isaburo joins forces with the rebels to fight them. This is when Utsuro shows up and is revealed that he looks exactly like Shoyo Sensei and Gin gets shook. The rebellion manages to retreat at the expense of Isaburo's death, and it ends with the Shinsen Gumi disbanded. So Kondo and his group leave Edo, and they bid farewell to Gintoki, Kagura, Shimpachi, and Otai. Holy smokes! Lots happening. These two arcs, beautiful. They're gold. For this OP, um, it does have different visuals mm -hmm. throughout uh, the different episodes, but we'll just watch the Gin Takasugi one. God, it just like. Oh. It looks so epic. It, everything looks just like faded and yeah. worn and grittier, grungier, yeah. bloodier. Yeah. Oh. Like this is a different show. Yeah. yeah. Oh god. Oh, so yeah, this good. this and like even just oh, It feels like a different show. A much darker, grittier, bloodier, grungy yeah. show more action packed thing because if you didn't if you saw this and you didn't know what Gintama was about you'd be like wow this is like an epic shonen right yeah, yeah. <laughs> little do they know yes, I know. yes. Okay. it's so good uh, especially to like for what's going on right. it's just like scary yeah. and intense and dark 
And it's such a good song too. Again, like it feels like that early 2000s like rock ballad. Like a, almost like a Green Day kind of song. So oh good. my! Oh my God! Yeah, that's really like I want to put that between S and A. Yeah, I'll yeah. put it between S and A. Absolutely. We'll also watch the Farewell Shinsengumi OP for this as well. I like how you do it because they focus on different characters, right? Yeah, whose story is being brought to life more, you know. And it's oh, like so dark. it's important to like keep you engaged, I guess. It's more oh. than just an open. The Farewell Shinsengumi arc yeah. would gain like. And Hijikata having like, yeah, some I some really love good moments. This. Oh, and I cry so much. Yeah, when Shogun Sama dies. So good. Like this is such a good song. Oh, it's giving me all the feels yeah. because I'm just like this. This was so tragic. No, 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 no. Yeah. God. Oh I God. love that outfit. Ugh. And they're all like, they're breaking Kondo and yeah. Cots are out of jail. And it's, it's, it's still not changing into my ranking. This like, is, I'm so still epic. No, we're right. giving this a new one. Yeah. We'll rank these two different for the visuals. Oh, God. Ugh. I, I personally love this one. Yeah. For the Fair Relations and right. New York. I might, I might bring that one up to S tier. I might bring it to S tier, yeah. too. Moving on to OP number 18, Kagero by Real. This is the OP for Gintama period. We jump right into the Rakuyo decisive battle arc. Uh, weeks after the Shinsengumi leave Edo, the Yorozia and Katsura's Joy Rebels have been hiding since then. A request from Imai Nobume uh, leads the two groups to teaming up with the Kihetai plus Sakamoto to save Kamui and Takasugi from the clutches of Utsuro and his Harusame space pirates. Our group makes their way to Kagura's home planet for the big fight. Umi Bozu makes his appearance and Kamui fights his way to meet his father to achieve his goal of being the strongest man in the universe. The two fight, but it's shortly interrupted by Kagura and Utsuro. Utsuro defeats Umibozu, but is heavily weakened and flees. Then begins a huge battle between Gin and Kagura against Kamui and his Yato blood. We learn the backstory of Kagura and Kamui. Kagura saves Kamui, and Takasugi kills Oboro. At the end of the arc, it's revealed that Utsuro plans to start an all-out war to destroy Earth and all of humanity and himself. Not good. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh my god, so good. So good. <laughs> and it like changes from Edo to Kagura's home. Mm -hmm. yeah, I really like these visuals. Yeah. <sighs> like almost sounds like scandal a little bit, but oh god. Oh scary. Oh my god, so good. It's just so it's, intense. Again, like a, it's it's a different anime compared to what we've seen. That oh, yeah. I know. And Kagura, oh, yeah. it's so good. And now it's the three of them. Yeah, back together, back together fighting again. the like heads of the right. space pirates. Oh, that's so cool. That is such a cool sight. Yeah. And then with Conway, so good. Like, I want to throw that up in A tier. I'm going to give it an S. Yeah, all right, between S and A. Moving on to OP number 19, VS by Blue and Count. This is the OP for Gintama period Pororihen, uh, or the Gintama period slip arc. Mm. We take a quick break from all the heavy drama <laughs> and get back to the gang just doing some odd jobs for like 10 episodes. These episodes came from unused manga chapters chronically taking place before the Shogun assassination arc. Back when everything was okay. When everything was okay. Right? Yeah, oh. definitely more lighthearted. Oh, it's so fun yeah. though. It's poppy. Super poppy. <laughs> Madao getting sick. I do like this song. Yeah. I like the song. I really like these visuals. Like they're yeah. like comic strips. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is really beautiful. It's cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the the first couple of OP's visuals all kind of look the same, but right. it's when like oh, 
so and you can still good. see the darkness yeah, creeping in. But then all of these OPs slowly like kind of branch out into their own individual right. like characteristics. Like it kind of reminds me of uh, like one of the newer My Hero Academia OPs. Mm. Yeah. Like it's like, yeah, it's just yeah. so good. <laughs> My dad. I love this. Our running with the background yeah. like that. It's really great. And it's it's like strips from previous uh, all the previous right. episodes. <laughs> it is classic. On the highway into Edo. Yeah. Aww. I'm giving that one an A. I want to give that one an A. Solid yeah. A. Yeah. yeah. Moving on to OP20, Katani My Soul uh, by Dish. This is the first OP for the Silver Soul arc. So starting off a big ending-ish. Mm -hmm. Not the ending, because there's also the, the finales, but this is the first part of the mm -hmm. ending. Utsuro's ultimate plan starts taking place and a universal war has started that will ultimately lead to the destruction of Earth, allowing him to finally die, but taking the universe down with him. The Yurozira teams up with old allies and former enemies to defeat him. Everybody comes together to fight. I can't say I remember what this OP is though, which <laughs> is a little scary, because I'm like, it's the big, right. like it's the big parts. Oh, I do, I do remember this. So good. How is it right? it's yeah. being written out? So if you ever need to know the strokes for Gintama. <laughs> so good. Oh my god, you can't even see them right. either. It's so good. Just the glasses! <laughs> that Why? gets S tier automatically. Why am I just glasses? Just glasses. <laughs> oh. oh god, and everything getting. Oh my yeah. god. So good. Oh. So good, Sama sister. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Yes. So good. Oh. Like everybody, everybody's involved now. It's just destruction yeah. everywhere, chaos everywhere, everyone's fighting. Oh. <laughs> this is the first time everyone's really come together. Right. Oh, even Kintoki. Good. Like, I feel like A, it's still like, it's given me the action. It's given me like mm. everybody coming together. I'm gonna give this a, in between B and A. Fair. Just because like, it's very action-y, it's very like epic. Right. But like, I do like it when they add in a little bit of the like emotional, right. like, ah, brooding, like mm. everything's horrible. And I like, like it when they add yeah. in more of like the super like fun levity of mm. it too, so. Okay. Between A and B. And finally, the last OP, number 21, I Wanna Be by Spy Air. This is obviously the second mm -hmm. OP for the Silver Soul arc, uh, last OP of the series. The Yorozia, Shinsen, Gumi, and Yato fight with their lives on the line to put an end to Utsuro. And Sadaharu is the only one that can stop the Altana from going berserk. Utsuro is defeated, for now, and Edo is left in ruins, and everybody goes their own ways. Mm -hmm. After two years, everyone ends up back in Edo to get a time jump. And this builds the foundation for what's to come in Gintama, the semi-final special, and Gintama, the very final movie. Mm -hmm. God, starting off. Destruction. Yeah. It feels like the end. Yeah, yeah. and it, but it's like a light being coming up from right. the destruction. They've been through so much. Yeah. It does feel like a send off in a right, way. Right, yeah. Because it's everybody. Right. It's like high school graduation. And they're all <laughs> looking on upon the destruction that right. they had a hand to fight in. Oh, I love, by the end of it, I love Conway so right. much. Oh, God, it's so good. It's so emotional. It feels like. Like, yeah, we've been through a lot, yeah. and... Because Hasegawa puts on his old uniform again. Oh. God, it's so good. I literally have chills. I'm, like, gonna cry. It's so good. Oh. oh. And just the, them playing. Just... Like, the sun will rise again, you know? Because so, uh, Shoyo-sensei, like, fights, too. 
Oh, oh god, he's like waving. He's like, I'll see you later. Oh god. It's so good. And remember better times. Because they separate. Oh my god, I'm like literally tearing yeah. up. It's so good. I'm giving this one S tier. S tier, S -tier so 100%. So emotional. Yeah. That's the end of our rankings. Let us know your thoughts of all the Gintama OPs. Where would you rank them? Anticipating the uh, Ginpachi Sensei series coming up at some point. But let's watch some anime. I've been Vinny. I'm Molly. And we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.